Hi critters, welcome back to my channel, um, The Crafty Critter, and um, what I have today is I have wanted some more diamond paintings. I've got three that I order from, um, what is it, Paint with Diamonds. Everything's stuck in China. Nothing is coming through anytime soon. So, um, somebody told me that Hobby Lobby had um, a larger selection than Michael's when it came to diamond painting. So I went over there and um, yes, they had a very big, um, much bigger selection of diamond paintings. So I bought two and we're going to unbox those. I also while I was there noticed that they had the little <clears throat> diamond dot kits. Um, so let's take a look at this. This is um, the kit that you can buy at Hobby Lobby, and I'm not sure where else you can get it, um, but in here you get um, two grips, so two pencil grips, pen grips, two trays, and I really like the gray, these gray um, trays from Diamond Dots. Um, if I'm putting my gems in here, I usually hold here so that it doesn't, nothing comes out the spout, and then a, a really nice, easy shake, and it um, it goes into the groove. The diamonds, uh, gems go into the grooves really easily. Um, you get two extra, oops, two extra pens and two of the, um, wax caddies. So that's what's in this kit. And this kit, um, hold on, I it around here in a second. I'm just trying to put everything back. Um, this kit was $3.99. So that's a lot in there for that little amount. So um, then I bought some. So I bought this one. So this one says it's a beginner kit. Um, so I got this one because it was a heart and Valentine's Day is coming up here. So I thought, oh, let's do something heart rela um, related with hearts or something. Um, it's by Darman Art by Leisure Arts. But then at the bottom, it says it's powered by Diamond Dar Dots. So I'm uh, guessing it's Division of Diamond Dots. Um, so it says here that it contains um, your gem colors, your fabric, your wax, your stylus, your grip, a tray, and instructions. I am guessing that this is, um, it doesn't say anywhere on the box, um, whether it's round or square, but I'm guessing by the picture that it, um, if you can get a close up there, those are round, so um, it's kind of glaring a little bit here. And I'm also, it doesn't say if it's a partial or a full, but I'm guessing this is a partial because on the side of the box, it says this is your, uh, kind of like your gem area that you're doing, and then this is your full canvas. So my guess is this is a partial. Um, I haven't opened it yet, um, and it is, your finishing side is 8.5. Oops, let's see if I can get that to, it's not focusing in, sorry. Um, it's an 8 by 8, so, or an 8.7 by 8.7, so. All right, let's open this up. Um, I, like I say, I haven't opened it yet, um, but I did take off the seal tape just so that I wasn't fighting with it on camera. So, um, oh, hold on, there's more in the box. Okay, that's everything. All right, uh, let's take a look at the, oh, let's put that aside for a second. Let's take a look at the canvas first. Okay, so, um, oh, here's the instruction sheet rolled up with the canvas. Um, so again, this just tells you how to do it if you've never done it before. And I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna, it's all rolled, crinkly rolled up, so let me try to do this backwards a little bit here. To... Okay. Ooh, 
There we go. All right, nice. This is very nice. This is so cute. Um, this is poured glue. Um, and how we could tell that is um, that it's a clear sheet and the glue doesn't go past where we're um, laying the gems. And I could see it's not tacky anywhere here, but it is tacky. It's very tacky um, right here. So yes, we are only tack, um, this is a partial. And let me see. It is so hard because it's not wanting to focus. Let me try to peel back the plastic a little bit and see if it'll focus a little bit. All right, there you go. You can see it a little bit. The field is very easy to read. The lettering and everything is very clear. This really shouldn't take any more than a couple hours to kind of do this one. All right. And uh, let's see. One, two, three. There's eight colors. And here's the dimensions and everything. You can see that a lot better. And here is um, the legend. There's one on both sides. So there's one at the top and one at the bottom. This is cute. All right, let's take a look at the kit. Here is, um, comes with a tray. There's a no spout on this gray tray. So here, let me pull this out here. So we've got a pink square of wax. We've got a comfort grip. And here's the pen. Whoops, can't see this stuff. Hold on. Here's, it's a pretty big, good sized piece of wax. And tray, it's not the um, it's not the green ones, but these gray ones here seem to have like a little bit deeper grooves and catch the diamonds a little bit easy. All right, and then they gave us some baggies. Um, hold on, let me see how many are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. There's ten. There's 10 there. All right, and then here's our colors. Um, let's start out here. So there's going to be um, a lot of, like, these gold brown colors and yellow, all different shades of yellow, going, yellows and golds going into this. Um, this gets a little bit more, it's a very light, light yellow. Yeah, there. Here, let me um, see if I can. Look. I was looking for my scissors and I can't seem to find them. All right, it's okay. Yeah, I was going to try to cut this. There we go. There, now we can see all the colors. So it's not a lot, it's not going to be a very colorful portrait, but it is, it is really cute. All right. So let me just roll that up and set that aside because we got one more. All right. So this is definitely one that says that it is from Diamond Dots. And um, the dimensions, this is a 
30.5 by 30.5 for the design. The fabric size is 38 by 38. So if you can read that, it probably will be a lot easier to see if it, they wrote it on the canvas too. All right, now, um, this does not say if it is uh, round. It does not say if it is square. It does not say if it's a partial or a full. Um, it is called Flutter by Pink. So based on just the design I'm seeing on the box, it looks like it's another partial and it looks like it's round. Um, this one was only $14.99, so it was on the least expensive. On that last one I had, hold on, did I tell you the price on that one? I just dropped my box. This one was $9.99. So these two were on the, um, not on the expensive side, and I did use um, a 40% off, but so it took off a little bit. Um, Oh, and I did not pre-take the tape off of this box. So now you get to see me fight with it. Um, this one says it's an in intermediate. So. Right. Does it say what? Okay, the contents, you're getting a, um, you're getting your colors, you're getting your fabric, you're getting a stylus, a craft tray, a wax caddy and a comfort grip should all be included in here. And it looks like maybe an instruction sheet too. So, ooh. All right, that's everything in the box. Let's set the colors aside for a second. Let's take a look at the canvas. Very thick canvas. Oh, I didn't say on the other, the last one, it's like a lot softer. It's a softer but thick canvas. So I'm going to roll this backwards because it seems to be the, the thing to do to flatten these out. One second here. But yes, there was an instruction sheet, same as the last one. It looks exactly the same. Alright, let's take a look. And it is really hard to tell. There we go, back to the camera a little bit. So, this is a partial. So it's just the big giant butterfly in the center um, that is getting done. The fabric is very stiff on this one, so I'm having trouble getting it to to go flat. So it's not sticky anywhere here, but it's very sticky. Very sticky there. Mm. It's kind of it's like this bend in the fabric. I don't know if you can see that or not. You flip it over. Look at the the ridging here, and it's like, so it's not wanting to completely go flat on me. All right, I can't, they didn't really, and these last two, these are all like the diamond dot numbers. These are not like, they have like DMC coating or anything on both of these. So here is the legend. You could see there's no, Hold on. So this is like the diamond dot number. So there's nothing to that. All right. Um, I'm not sure how many colors are on here. I don't want to count this down here. I'm sure we'll figure it out with the bags. Um, so far, I'm like impressed because these are partials. I mean, they're not going to take me a long time to do, but they are super cute. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's open my colors up. Got a uh, 
screen grip with this one. So um, in here, there's probably about 10. I'm not going to count it again, but there is the bags there. Um, it, it seems like they give out 10. This one gave um, the spout tray. I love the spout trays. And um, the wax caddy, the grip, and there's a pen in there too. So it's standard kits. And then here's all the colors. Wow. Looks like there's about 28 colors, just based on how they labeled the bags. So let me, oh, there we go. Here's one. We get some purples. It's so hard because like there's a shiny glare. The gems seem to be in good quality on both of these. Green, some yellow, here's some some more purples, and then we got pinks. Wow, this is pretty. This is gonna be so pretty. There's definitely 28 colors in the pack. Oh yes, okay, I see it here. So it does go A1 down to 28. So there is 28 colors to this canvas. How pretty is that? So it'll be a while before I probably do this one. I'll probably do the, the heart pretty soon here. I hope you enjoyed watching another unboxing of diamond paintings. I am still working on my um, Starry Night. That is um, taken a while to do. And I was looking, seeing where I put the box somewhere. I don't see it now. Um, probably have it in the other room. I was going to show you where I'm at right now, but um, it, it's taken a very long time to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In the meantime, um, I will probably have one up on this one before you even see Starry Night completed, um, just because um, I'm probably just going to start this one for Valentine's Day. So I think what I'm going to do is show you how I um, prep a kit in order for me to use it with this painting. And, um, and then you'll see a completed video with that um, before Starry Night comes, it gets completed. So, and this one I will stay, save for um, after I finish Starry Night. Then I will work on this butterfly. And yeah, so thank you for joining me. Bye.